Champions League final. Yidi. Excitement. Yes. Sad that our teams are not there, but excitement altogether. <laughs> um, it's been a while since we saw Liverpool in a Champions League final. Yeah, it's been a while. Uh, we're used to seeing Real there. Mm -hmm. um, Barcelona. <laughs> Barcelona. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, what's our prediction? Are Real going to take this again? It feels like it's been given to them on a silver platter. They feel like they, they have the art of winning a Champions League down for them to a science. Mm -hmm. um, what are your predictions? Are you? I think Liverpool will win this. I don't think um, Real will stand up against the <laughs> club. They can press. <laughs> I can't wait. Why but do you think Liverpool will win? Because of Salah? No, not because of Salah. I, be I think it's because of the manager. They have no defence. They leak goals at an exponential rate. How <laughs> will they win? They have no defence, but they defend as a team. And they defend from top. That defence as a team is the very reason why they finished fourth. But you know, I think Liverpool is the only team that has beaten Man City home and away this season. True. Mm, true. Yeah. <coughs> so... I, I think they can stand up against Real. Okay. Let, let's wait and see. I mean, it's my view. Score prediction. Okay. Um, I, okay, I think first half will end maybe 2 or 3 nil to Liverpool. Because <laughs> that is how it has been. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mike? Um, I'm seeing Real Madrid. Yeah. Um, to me, they're not the best team in Europe. Yeah. But they know how to win. But somehow, yes, especially in the Champions League. Yeah. Um, even if you saw the quarters against Juve, semis against Bayern, they didn't impress, but just somehow they, they managed they get to get a goal here. And, yeah. and um, if they do win it, I think this will be their 13th title. Oof. So that will be some Champions League title. Yes, so their 13th Champions oh. League title. Um, and I, have a, I had a bit of um, fun facts that I got. Okay, okay. Um, so for Real Madrid, this is their 15th. Champions League final, um, ever since it started as the European Cup in yeah. 1955. Yeah. Um, they have 13, as I said, so they've only lost three. Um, Out of the finals they've been in, been 15 in, times. They've only lost They've only three lost three. Are you times. changing your mind yet? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I'm thinking maybe this could go to extra time. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. So the three they've lost is in 1962 to Inter Milan, yeah. in 1964, to, sorry, 1962 to Benfica, 1964 to Inter Milan. Uh, they also lost in 1981. Can you guess which team they lost to? 81? Yes. 1981. Liverpool. Liverpool, and you? Uh, Ajax. Ajax. T has it, it's Liverpool. Um, <laughs> no, why didn't I think of it? <laughs> why didn't I think of it? <laughs> <laughs> and Liverpool, this will be their eighth Champions League final. Uh -huh. They have five titles. Uh -huh. Of their previous seven, <coughs> they've only lost two. Ooh. Both times to Italian teams. Yeah. So these so guys, both, ask, both, ask, both ask, these teams. Ask the Italian teams. Uh, they, ask the Italian teams. That they, they lost. That they, that they beat, lost to. They beat. No, that they lost to. Um, Their last Champions League was against AC Milan. AC Milan. And yes. they won. Yes. But the two Italian teams they lost to. 1985, can you guess? 85? Yes. AC Milan. AC Milan? Hey. I'll be guessing, but let me uh. say Roma. The correct answer is Juve. Oh. And <laughs> then they lost in 2007 to... 2007, Champions AC Milan. League. Yes. AC Milan. AC Milan. I don't know. It's AC Milan. <laughs> <laughs> you need to start watching football. Eh? This is yeah. a problem of Arsenal fans. You only watch Arsenal. <laughs> Brazil fans. Are you talking about Brazil fans? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And uh, another fun fact, um, for Zidane, this could be the third season in a row that he's winning the Champions, Champions League. League yeah. Yes. Is he lucky or is he good? No, he, I think he's good. Zidane is good. I think the first season but I you thought... Don't, you don't seem to see any strategy or anything he's doing. He just seems to be there and they win. I've once watched uh, a, a discussion he had with this team halftime. Yeah. I don't know mm -hmm. if you've watched that. Mm -hmm. And he, his ability to get the players to perform just through what he tells them. Mm -hmm. And because of his touch as Zidane is very so impressive. Basically, we're saying he's not a good coach. He's a good motivational speaker. Okay, I think he's a good coach. The first season I thought... Maybe it's just because he's Zidane. Yeah. But over the second and third season now, he shows that he's actually... Mm. But not in the league. He's not consistent in the league. <coughs> no, he's maintained it. They will play in the Champions League next season. So. And last season, he won La Liga. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, okay. Yeah. Uh, but finally, just one fun fact. Uh -huh. um, in between 96 and 98, uh, Juventus got to the Champions League final three times. Yeah. This is the first time a team is doing that, yeah. apart from Real Madrid. Yeah. 
Zidane was on the squad for two of those um, times where they got to the Champions League final. In 97, 97 they lost to Borussia Dortmund. Yeah. And what Borussia Dortmund did is that they put someone as a defensive midfielder called Paul Lambert to man-mark Zidane out of the game. Now in 2018, Zidane is getting to a Champions League final. Paul Lambert has been relegated with Stoke City in the English Premier League. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah. So, Ayo, let me ask you a question. <laughs> with all this history, you know, all this history around these two great teams, Real, one of the greatest in Europe, Liverpool, another great in Europe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Both teams having accomplished so much. Real having not just a team that has accomplished a lot, but a coach who himself has accomplished a lot. Is the history enough to carry a team? I mean, it's part of it, but, um, you know, playing for Liverpool means that you're playing for something. But you see, the last time they won the Champions League, for example, there's no one who was in that team that is in the current team. Okay. So the current team need to work their way to win the Champions League. And I think for us as Christians, we must learn something from that. That not because your dad is a pastor or your mom is so committed in church, that in itself does not make you right with God. Mm. You have to work your salvation, you have to work your spirituality. And I think as Christians, we can borrow that from um, this Champions League final. So Liverpool have to work their way to victory. If they depend only on their history, Real will carry it. But does it affect? Does the history give you an extra push? Yeah, the, the, the history of the club, the history in the Champions League obviously gives you an extra push because you don't want to be the generation that lets down yeah. the club. So even, I guess, it's the same with Christianity. When yes. you're, when you're, those who've gone before you, your parents, your relatives, were those so, who followed mm, the Lord, then I guess it can motivate you to also follow God. But it, in and itself, it's not enough. It's not enough. You have to work it out yourself. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I think also, in, in a way, you see, in Deuteronomy, the Israelites are told to <coughs> ensure they teach their children yeah. these ways. Yeah. But at the end of the day, the children still have to make a choice for themselves. Make a choice for themselves to honor God and follow Him, so that His promises continue being reflected on them. Okay.